Hello and welcome to the 2021 Dundee and Angus College prize given event. My name is Simon Hewitt and I am the principal here at Dundee and Angus College. It's my absolute pleasure to open this year's event. It's safe to say that the past 12 months have been hard, really hard. What we have all had to deal with and cope with both personally and professionally over this time has been unprecedented and extremely challenging. However, what you as students have had to endure during this time has been especially difficult. At points last year, you had no idea how your course would be delivered, what the disruption would mean for your overall qualification, and in fact, if you would ever to be able to return to campus or complete your studies at all. But you did return, and not only did you return just to complete your course, you returned to absolutely smash it. And now you're sitting here tonight as a prize winner. So you should be so proud. I'm so proud of you all. Our staff are so proud of you all. The resilience, the determination, and the sheer doggedness that you've shown to not only complete your course, but to complete it as a prize winner is nothing short of remarkable. So I hope you too are really proud of yourself. You did it. Not many will look back on recent COVID times fondly, but you should take confidence in the fact you managed to put all of that aside and you kept your focus. A focus on building a brighter future for yourself and your closest. So a massive well done to you all. So thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for making this college the amazing college that it is. And thank you for having the guts to keep on fighting. It's now time to get the event underway, so I'd like to say a massive good luck to everyone. Thank you. Hi, my name's Kirsty Patterson and I'm the Head of Sector for Business, Access and Education. I'm very proud to be here today to celebrate the success, hard work and outstanding achievement of you all. You have shown dedication, enthusiasm and you have persevered through a challenging year in terms of uncertainty and change. You've gone above and beyond and your outstanding commitment to your studies has shone through and now is a time for celebration. I want to wish you all the very best in whatever the future holds, whether you're coming back to study with us for another year or if you're off into pastures new and into employment. Congratulations to you all and a very well done to all our award winners today. Hi there, my name is Jane Roscoe and I'm Head of Sector for Care, Sport and Social Science. I'd like to take the opportunity today to say very well done and many congratulations on your awards. They really are amazing. Well done all of you. When I was reading through the nominations for these awards, there were some real standouts. These are the sort of personalities and characteristics that made you all winners. These are the characteristics that are so important into the careers you're going to go on to in care, sport and social science. Things like going above and beyond, going the extra mile for your studies or for somebody else, really showing commitment, showing resilience, being kind. But not only that, you showed passion and creativity in your studies. For those of you studying health and social care, 
childcare and sport and fitness, this meant approaching your work placements and practical work really differently. You managed to work with employers even though some of you were unable to attend a placement. In sport and fitness, you participated in physical activity and shared that information through apps such as Strava, shared it with your peers, with your lecturer, so they could see how well you were doing. Some of you have come onto the college this year and taken a step that will really change your life. And by being successful, you've done it, you've done that. You've got to where you want to be. You're making those steps into your new future. So very well done. Once again, congratulations to all our award winners today and I hope you have a lovely day and enjoy the rest of this celebration. Hi there, my name is Gillian McGovern, I'm Head of Sector for Creative, Cultural and Digital. Well done to every single one of you for your achievement this year in such difficult circumstances. The creative sector right now provides lots of opportunities for individuals like you. So whether you're in art and design, hospitality and professional cookery, hair and beauty, computing or performing arts, there are opportunities. So for those of you that are staying with us, we look forward to welcoming you back. For those who are progressing on, Good luck to you all for your future endeavours. The creative industries is reviving right now and there's opportunities out there for all of you. Employers need the skills and knowledge that you've gained over the last year. This is your day to celebrate, to celebrate all the hard work that you've achieved this year because you've put in the hard work and the effort in challenging the circumstances. Well done to every single one of you. Hi, my name is Stephen McGregor and I'm the Head of Sector for Science, Technologies, Land-Based Industries at Dundee and Angus College. On behalf of the sector and the college, I just wanted to let you know how proud we are of you. Last year provided a significant challenge for our students, our staff and our community. Our Science, Technologies and Land-Based courses have substantial practical face-to-face -face components that may have been one of the reasons why you chose to study your course at DNA. Due to COVID, we had to, and continue to, change the way we deliver our courses, which included delivering some classes online. Despite these challenges, you continually demonstrated an outstanding commitment to your learning throughout the year. 
you've also been chosen by your staff as this year's award winners. Your success was no accident. It came from your hard work, determination, sacrifice, and most of all, a love of what you were learning. Congratulations on your award, you've earned it. Whatever your plans are now, be it studying with us again, progressing to university or work, please stay connected with us. You are now an ambassador for the sector. We're incredibly proud of you and what you have achieved. DNA Prize for Outstanding Commitment, Kirsty Alexander. Kirsty Alexander is a shiny example to all her peers. She attended every class, always on camera, always smiling and happy to be there. She supported all the other students with their work and any problems they might have had. Kirsty's own work ethic is superb. She listens, she asks questions and she takes on board any tasks that she's been given. She's achieved level five ICT and is rightly very proud of this. Kirsty's now moving on to the Princess Trust where she should excel, working with others, helping on community projects gaining many new skills and having wonderful experiences. That sums up Kirsty all right. The DNA Prize for Outstanding Commitment, Yolanda Hodgson. Yolanda Hodgson has excelled this year, not only passing her course, but achieving high standards throughout. She even managed to juggle a busy home life with the demands of college. OU Choices is a heavy course that includes combined English and National 5 Maths among other SQA units and open university modules. Yolanda worked incredibly hard to complete everything, achieving an A for Nat 5 Maths along the way. She even encouraged fellow students, contributed to class discussions, and generally set high standards for the rest of the group to follow. Yolanda is a credit to herself and her family, and the OU Choices course team is very proud of what she has achieved this year. The DNA Prize for Personal Achievement, Lucianne Frost. Lucianne Frost left school pretty much disempowered and lacking confidence in her abilities to progress in education. She was shy, timid, and as we discovered, severely dyslexic. This was along with having social, communication, processing and learning challenges, not to mention a personal enduring health condition. On her entry-level course, Next Steps, Lucianne was inspired to show what she could do and progress sufficiently to move up to the Life Skills course. But just as Lucianne was spreading her wings, the pandemic hit and she had to prepare by going into isolation. Lucianne endured surgery during lockdown with COVID restrictions adding to the anxiety of her procedure. And on returning home, she then had to shield in her flat with her gran for six months. Lucianne was unable to see her mother and siblings who live elsewhere, but despite all of this, she remained friendly, chatty and determined to find ways to get through her college work. She was finally able to return to college in semester two and once more showed her characteristic determination to succeed and successfully pass her course. Lucianne is a very determined and understated young lady and we couldn't be more proud to call her a student at DNA College. The Armstead Prize for Personal Achievement Joel Frith. Despite his personal social communication difficulties and family tragedies, Joel Frith has engaged in all learning this year and has been determined to succeed despite what life has thrown at him. Joel has a progressive condition that affects his daily life and yet he continually shows incredible resilience and perseverance. 
Sadly, the family tragedies experienced during the academic year were further compounded by the impacts of COVID, limiting opportunities to see loved ones in times of great difficulty. Despite this, Joel has been determined to achieve as much as he can and work hard to maintain as much of his mobility as possible. He regularly ditches the wheelchair in favour of walking and manages without it for as long as he's able. Throughout this, Joel has maintained a cheerful, kind and pleasant outlook. He contributed to the morale of his group during lockdowns by creating quizzes which educated us all in the mysteries of the deep ocean and the natural world, a big passion of his. Joel thoroughly deserves to be recognised for being an amazing young man and a true inspiration to others. The Leng Trust Prize for Outstanding Endeavour, Rasheen Smith. The word outstanding has consistently been used about Rasheen Smith this year. In terms of learning and teaching, Rasheen has effectively engaged with remote learning, despite coming back into education after a gap of some years and a history of poor educational experiences. Her engagement in class, class discussions and group activities has been active as well as supportive of other class members. Her submitted work has been of an exceptionally high standard and her motivation and dedication to her HNC has been evident throughout the year. However, returning to learning also unhappily coincided with caring for an elderly parent who became increasingly unwell during semester one and who sadly passed away at the end of last year. Despite the anxiety, grief, and isolation, Rasheen constantly kept in touch with her lecturers and group tutor. Although this could have all been too much for her, Rasheen maintained as positive an attitude as possible and utilised the support available to be able to excel in her studies. She is a prime example of a success story for a mature learner, wishing to re-engage with education. All staff agree that Rasheen should be recognised for the effort dedication, enthusiasm and resilience she has demonstrated this year and we wish her all the best for what we believe will be a successful university transition. The Stuart Souter Memorial Award, James Cosgrove. This award is presented in memory of Stuart, who despite living with complex medical issues, never stopped loving learning and his college life. Stuart's determination and resilience saw him successfully achieve, not only academically, but also in his social life, which was extremely important to him. These aspects of Stuart's character are embodied in this award, which goes this year to James Cosgrove, who shares his passion for learning, compassion for others, and zest for life, despite many adverse circumstances. Throughout an already difficult and unprecedented college year, James has overcome huge learning and personal barriers in order to complete his access to nursing course. The whole teaching team is immensely proud of his efforts and determination. The Irene Callaghan Edinburgh Angus Club Award, Lee Wares. Lee Wares has coped exceptionally well with all the changes this last year has brought. Engaging in all lessons on campus or remotely, he has worked extremely hard to complete all his work. He's always ready with a joke or a quip to lift classmates' spirits and has been a leader in his group. Lee has matured over the last few years from a student who was anxious about college, disruptive and easily distracted in class, to someone who is so much more confident in his abilities, who engages in the work given to him and completes it often ahead of schedule. Throughout Lee's time with us, the one thing that has never wavered has been his desire to move on to another course once he was ready. And he achieved that goal recently by being given an unconditional offer for a business course. The Principal's Choice Award and the Gold Attributes Award. Agers Bridgen. Agers Bridgen has received both awards for his continued commitment to his volunteering position as learner engagement photographer. Agers volunteered over 90 hours to the team and despite a pandemic, He's been reliable, enthusiastic and eager to bring life to the role. Eager's passion for his course and the college has been evident throughout the time we spent getting to know him. He genuinely loves what he does. Eager's has spent a lot of time outside of his scheduled hours with the team as he edits all of the photographs he takes and spends quite some time after any activity on uploading, editing and sending all of the shots he captures. Although Agus's role is photographer, he always helps out with whatever activity the team is running. He supports and facilitates activities and he always mucks in to help set up and clean up. We've been so grateful to have Agus on the team during our wellbeing activity and after ours group. He's been such an asset. The Befriending Cup. 
Shannon Torrey, in memory of Joshua Gregory. Joshua Philip Gregory loved being student president at Dundee and Angus College from May 2017 to 20th of July 2018. He enrolled at the college to study engineering and on passing his HND, he stayed on. While studying, he was play sports promoter, basketball coordinator, sport and wellbeing assistant and sports intern. Josh spent more than 200 hours volunteering. He also played basketball and celebrated the team's end of season victory. Josh was passionate about the well-being of his fellow students and had an innate skill to befriend and engage with others. The Befriending Cup is a prize awarded to students who have shown kindness, inclusivity and compassion to others. It's gifted by Joshua's family in loving remembrance. Shannon Torrey is one of the kindest human beings that we've ever come across. She constantly checks in on others, even when she's having a tough day herself. She brings a light and a smile to everyone and brightens up their day. Shannon will light up the room, be it virtually or in person, with her witty banter and selfless support for others. She never fails to remind people of their worth and is so friendly and encouraging to those around her. Shannon will make you laugh until your stomach hurts and has a wicked giggle that is completely infectious. She is inclusive and welcoming, making sure that everyone has a fair and equal chance to take part and engage with every level of their college learning experience. She goes above and beyond without realizing that she is making such a difference to others' lives. She is an absolute delight to have around and the world needs more Shannons. The Kevin Murphy Award, Elizabeth Brooke Johnston. Kevin Murphy was Director of Curriculum at the college up until his sudden and unexpected passing in January 2021 at just 49 years of age. He'd worked at the college for almost 25 years and was a true example of how college learning can create opportunities well beyond individual expectations. A painter and decorator to trade, Kevin was passionate about college education and the opportunities that this offered for young and not so young people to improve their qualifications and develop their careers. This was something he had experienced himself. Within this, Kevin really understood the importance of essential skills. No matter what course, level or type of study a student was undertaking, Kevin knew that by improving their essential skills, they could improve their future chances. So this award is given in recognition of the pride that Kevin took in the success of our students and in the important role that essential skills plays in this. Despite lacking in confidence in the early stages of her course, Elizabeth Brooke Johnson performed well across every stage of her coursework. This was due to her determination and positive attitude. Throughout the course, her diligence and desire to do well impressed us. Elizabeth's communication at all times was professional and courteous. She listened carefully to feedback and was quick to action this. We're delighted to learn that Elizabeth has recently been awarded an A in her HNC and we think this says it all really. We cannot think of a more deserving student and one who genuinely deserves this accolade. Wow, what an absolutely fantastic event. So many worthy winners, so many amazing stories. And like I said at the beginning, I am so proud of each and every one of you and I really hope that you are proud of yourselves. Spectacular stuff. So, we're now at the end of it. I really hope that you now go and celebrate and enjoy the success of being a prize winner at Dundee and Angus College. And I wish you all the best for your future, whatever that may hold. Massive well done on behalf of the whole college again, and thank you.